Welcome to a little bit of Lab Rat Fun, Networking with Fish. We're going to do a little snippet today about uh, getting uh, the Spirant Test Center port configured to do BGP with Router 2. This is part of a larger example where we first do one YouTube between Router 1 and the Spirant Test Center port for OSPF, and then this specific one, BGP, between Router 2 and the Spiron Test Center, and then we'll finish the example with the traffic. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and focus just on the BGP. So what we're going to do is Autonomous System 100 will be Router 2. So Router 2 will be BGP Autonomous System 100. We'll make the Spiron Test Center port Autonomous System 101. Um, it's extremely common that when people are asking for just one BGP peer, they're going to be asking for it to be eBGP or external BGP, which means the autonomous system numbers are not going to be the same. Um, I could have also done iBGP, and you can also do multiple iBGP peers. And while we're doing this with IPv4, could have been VPNv4, could have been IPv6, etc. So, but this is just a default as to how to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Spirant Test Center and enable BGP to run on an existing device. So device 10.2.21.101 was there from a previous YouTube. We're going to enable BGP to run on that with device under test, which is um, router 2. Then we're going to verify BGP neighbor re relationship established. Then we're going to go back, we're going to advertise 10 prefixes starting with 10.21. Um, and then on router 2 we're going to verify the prefixes are received and that's it. So let's go ahead and go over to the Spirant Test Center and enable BGP to run on the existing device. So if we go over to the Spirant Test Center and we have port 11 and 12 and if we can see right over here um, the Spirant Test Center port 12 is connected to router 2 so this is the one we want and if we see up here there's a tab BGP my tabs are going to be different than your tabs if you don't have BGP you just go to technology come down here find BGP um, and then you'll get a tab for it so while we could do BGP on the IPv4 and the IPv6 it's going to be pretty much the same things that we're going to be activating so I'm going to do it on the IPv4 so we're going to say active um, the autonomous system number here is the autonomous system number of the Spirant Test Center since we are on the Spirant Test Center. DUT, for those of you who don't know what it is, is device under test. Well, the device under test is who I'm talking to. It is router 2. Um, and then the device un under test IP address is 10.2.21.1. It's just assuming that you're talking to the default gateway. And um, we could have authentication here, we could have a lot of other things, there's a lot of stuff that's right up here that we could have. My columns may be different than the columns that you're doing, and that's because of the fact that I usually do a certain customized view so I can see what I want up here. Um, as always, if the apply button is uh, green, that means that there's a um, disconnect, there's something different between what I have on um, my GUI as the instructions I want to have the Spirant Test Center to run and what it is running. You'll also see this little warning, BGP scalability mode is set to discard updates. Uh, that is the default behavior, so if we actually go to settings um, and we go to BGP, in our Spirant Test Center uh, default uh, base startup config, we actually have discard updates. If you actually look at what discard updates are, um, you can press uh, function F1, and if you look at what discard updates are, um, it disables the processing of BGP update messages. This improves your route, ref um, your route reflector convergence times, but BGP rece receive results will be invalid. This is the Spirant Test Center receiving a lot of traffic. The majority of time that I'm actually doing a BGP test, um, what is actually happening is the device under test is not whether or not the Spirant Test Center receives 100,000 tests or, or 100,000 prefixes or anything like that. It is typically just bring up a BGP peer and then send this number of prefixes. If um, you're doing something different, which is more of a corner case typically with proof of concepts, then you'll want to be mindful of, um, of that warning. 
So we went ahead and uh, click apply. It's my habit that whenever I see apply, I always click it. So um, I don't pay attention to whether or not um, I actually change something. So again, I'm in BGP. I can either right click and do start device here, or I can uh, keep this highlighted and click start device up here, or I can also click start all devices here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start device right up here. We go from active and to established. And so the next thing that we're supposed to do is go ahead and verify that the BGP neighbor relationship was established. Well, according to the Spirant Test Center, the BGT, BGP neighbor relationship was established, but let's go see what router two thinks. So if we go to router two and we do a show IP BGP summary, then we do see, yes, we actually do see that we have our neighbor uh, with the Spiron Test Center 10.2.21.101. Um, its autonomous system number is 101. My autonomous system number is 100. These are the messages that we've sent and received, but I have no prefixes that I have uh, received from them yet. And that's okay because that's the next thing that we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go over to the Spirant Test Center and advertise 10 prefixes starting at 10.21.1. So let's go ahead and go back over to the Spirant Test Center. And we're right here and we can actually go to route generator or we can just say edit routes. We'll go ahead and go to route generator. So we're gonna do route generator and we just want the one that we just did. It's IPv4, so we just want IPv4 and um, unlike the OSPF one where there's like summary and this and this and this, we're just going to go ahead and configure IPv4 routes. So how many do I want to have? I want to have 10. Do I want to have duplication? No, I don't. I want to start at 10.21.1.0 and that's 10. And again, just like the other ones I could do, I'm just going to do slash 24, but I could do all kinds of things um, here. And so we're just going to go ahead and do finish. This is what I have. If we do close, you can also do an edit routes here. And if we do an edit routes, what we'll see is this is the IPv4 routes. Um, you can see that I could have been doing a lot more, could have been doing IPv6 routes, IPv4 VPLS, IPv6 VPLS, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So as far as we're concerned from an IPv4 routes perspective, we're doing just 10. So. Uh, go ahead and click apply. So I am established. It just it just bounced. I don't have like you know it's going to go ahead and refresh itself. So now I should be able to uh, come over here and go to R2 and verify that the prefixes are being received. So if we go over to R2 and we up arrow, then we see that we actually have 10 prefixes. If we do a show IP BGP. Uh, and just hit enter, we have 10, 10.21.1, 32, and including 10.21.10, um, all originating from path 101. Now, I can actually also, just to let you know, while this was super simple, there's a lot of things that I can actually do in here. I can actually come in here, I could enable graceful restart, um, I can, uh, put in here route refresh mode and I could come in here and I could uh, change communities and everything like that. So um, again, most of the time we're just doing this. And so that's it, just that simple. Now we have it up and running and now we're ready to send traffic between the OSPF shared prefixes and the BGP shared prefixes. So thanks YouTube.